What is Ruby on Rails? Ruby on Rails is a popular open source web application framework written in the Ruby programming language that follows the model view controller, MVC, architectural pattern to provide a default structure for database backed web applications. What is MVC architecture and how does it relate to Ruby on Rails? MVC is an architectural pattern that separates an application into three main components, the model, the view, and the controller. Ruby on Rails is built on top of the MVC pattern, with models representing the data, views representing the user interface, and controllers handling the application logic. What is the difference between Ruby and Ruby on Rails? Ruby is a programming language, whereas Ruby on Rails is a web application framework written in the Ruby language that provides a default structure for building web applications. What is a controller in Ruby on Rails? In Ruby on Rails, a controller is a component that handles user requests and provides responses. It receives input from the user, interacts with the model to retrieve or manipulate data, and renders a view to display the results back to the user. What is a view in Ruby on Rails? In Ruby on Rails, a view is a component responsible for rendering the user interface. It displays data retrieved from the controller or model, and provides an interface for user input. What is a model in Ruby on Rails? In Ruby on Rails, a model represents the data and business logic of the application. It interacts with the database to store and retrieve data, and performs validation and other business logic on the data before it is stored. What is a migration in Ruby on Rails? In Ruby on Rails, a migration is a way to manage database schema changes over time. It allows developers to create, modify, and remove database tables, columns, and indexes using a set of Ruby-based scripts. What is a root in Ruby on Rails? In Ruby on Rails, a root is a mapping between a URL and a specific controller action. It defines how a request should be handled and which controller and action should be used to generate the response. What is RESTful routing and why is it important in Ruby on Rails? RESTful routing is a convention used in Ruby on Rails to define a standard set of HTTP verbs, get, post, put, delete, and URLs for mapping resources to controller actions. It makes it easy to build RESTful web applications that follow a predictable and consistent pattern. What is the difference between a gem and a plugin in Ruby on Rails? In Ruby on Rails, a gem is a package of reusable code that can be added to an application to provide additional functionality. A plugin, on the other hand, is a piece of code that modifies or extends the behavior of the Rails framework itself. Gems are typically used to add functionality to an application, while plugins are used to customize the behavior of the framework. What is a scaffold in Ruby on Rails and how is it useful? A scaffold in Ruby on Rails is a code generator that creates a basic CRUD interface for a new model. It is useful for quickly setting up a new application and providing a starting point for customization. What is the use of Rake in Ruby on Rails? Rake is a build tool in Ruby on Rails used for automating common tasks, such as running database migrations or starting a local server. It provides a convenient way to manage complex tasks and dependencies. What is a callback in Ruby on Rails and how does it work? A callback in Ruby on Rails is a method that is automatically called at certain points during an object's life cycle such as before or after it is saved to the database. It is used to perform actions based on these events and can help to keep code organized and maintainable. What is Active Record in Ruby on Rails? Active Record is the Object Relational Mapping, ORM, system in Ruby on Rails. It maps database tables to Ruby classes and provides an interface for querying and manipulating data. It also supports associations between models and includes features such as validation and callbacks. 
What is a helper in Ruby on Rails and how is it used? A helper in Ruby on Rails is a module that defines methods to be used in views. It is used to encapsulate common view-related tasks, such as formatting dates or generating links. Helpers can be either application-wide or specific to a particular controller or view. What is a partial in Ruby on Rails? A partial in Ruby on Rails is a reusable chunk of view code that can be included in other views. It is useful for avoiding code duplication and promoting code reuse. Partials are often used for rendering common elements of a page, such as headers or footers. What is a layout in Ruby on Rails and how is it used? A layout in Ruby on Rails is a template that defines the overall structure and styling of a page. It is used to define common elements of a page, such as headers and footers, and can be applied to multiple views. Layouts can also include yield statements to insert content from views. What is the purpose of Asset Pipeline in Ruby on Rails? The Asset Pipeline in Ruby on Rails is a system for managing static assets, such as style sheets and JavaScript files. It provides features such as concatenation, minification, and caching to improve application performance. The Asset Pipeline also includes support for pre-compiling assets for deployment. What is a session in Ruby on Rails and how is it used? A session in Ruby on Rails is a mechanism for storing user data between requests. It is used to maintain state across multiple requests, such as a user's login status or shopping cart contents. Sessions are often implemented using cookies or server-side storage. What is a flash message in Ruby on Rails? A flash message is a temporary message that is displayed on the screen for a short period of time after a user performs an action. It is commonly used to display a success or error message. What is a mailer in Ruby on Rails and how is it used? A mailer is a class that is used to send emails from a Ruby on Rails application. It provides a set of methods for generating and sending email messages. What is the purpose of caching in Ruby on Rails? Caching is used in Ruby on Rails to speed up the performance of the application by temporarily storing frequently accessed data in memory. This reduces the number of database queries and network requests that need to be made. What is the difference between a symbol and a string in Ruby on Rails? Symbols and strings are both used to represent text in Ruby on Rails, but symbols are immutable and unique while strings are mutable and not unique. Symbols are commonly used as keys in hashes and to represent method names. What is the purpose of a rake task in Ruby on Rails? A rake task is a command line tool that is used to automate repetitive tasks in a Ruby on Rails application. It is similar to a shell script and can be used to perform a variety of tasks, such as running database migrations or generating code. What is the purpose of a module in Ruby on Rails and how is it used? A module is a collection of methods and constants that can be used by other classes in a Ruby on Rails application. It is commonly used to encapsulate related functionality and provide a namespace for methods and constants. Why is it worth subscribing to our YouTube channel? Our YouTube channel provides valuable and informative content on a variety of topics, including expert interview questions and answers that can help viewers prepare for job interviews and improve their skills in various industries.